Hi, I'm Mikey Fogarty. I'm Patrick Mullins. And I'm Lisa O'Neill. And we're over here in uh, Cheltenham this morning and uh, giving you the lowdown on the runners for the day. When did you get in, Lisa? I actually got in on Sunday night myself. When, what about you, Patrick? Yeah, we got in late Sunday night myself and Mikey got a taxi up from Birmingham, stayed in a house close by, and we're in here right now Monday morning. Yeah, so uh, yesterday's um, you're kind of you're waiting around, but this morning there's a bit more of a buzz around, and uh, yeah, glad glad the race is going ahead for a start, and uh, soft ground will help, uh, I think, a lot of the Irish chances. Yeah, I think there was a lot, a, a bit of persistent uh, overnight rain, um, but it seems to be dry this morning, and the place is looking really well. I know I got wet walking down to the restaurant last night, anyway, so <laughs> definitely, but it was dry this morning, like you said, it's kind of warm, it's mild, it's windy, it it'll be drying through the day, um, yeah. but I imagine it's going to be on the slow side. Yeah, yeah I, di I didn't get wet last night going to the res restaurant, but I got stung for a meal at Brian Cooper, so um, <laughs> look at, hopefully I'll win something back there over the next few days. And does he fancy his chances today on Discorama? He does, yeah, um, big time, the the, he was delighted with the rain, he said uh, he stayed last year in the four miler yeah. and uh, he, he, he really does, he's, he's farming the Martin Pipe is very good. So He's got a wind up, has he? Wind up since uh, Limerick and uh, yeah, he's looking forward to it. So. Um, what about your chances today, Patrick? Well, the, the, it's good and bad. For a charge, it's probably not ideal. Um, you know, I probably like uh, better, ground. better ground. So look, I think we'll probably drop them in, take a chance that they go maybe they go hard in front and we'll be trying to be running on at the end. But it's going to be going to need a lot of luck. 17 runners, eight pounds between 14 of them. It's going to be a rough race. I think um, they're going to go gallop too, aren't they? Well, Fatima Suar is there, not so sleepy. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's... Super Sunday. Super Sunday. You know, whether he'll be able to lie up, but he'll be jumping out good and handy. I think there'll be a lot of horses wanting to be third, fourth, fifth, sixth, mm -hmm. and we'll probably slot in behind them. But the slow ground will suit carefully selected. Um, he's settled in very well. Um, you know, it should slow everything down, just get him popping away. I've no doubt about him staying. We know he handles the festival. Um, I'm really looking forward to riding him. I think he has to have a huge chance. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, your room with Rachel uh, last night, is she um, nervous or excited or looking forward to her? Which, which of the ones today would the ground suit the best of her chances? Yeah, Rachel and Brian are in the house with me and... Um, you she, kicked I, me out, I know you, that. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we, yeah, we didn't talk much about the races last night to be honest, but um, you know, I think Notebook, she's really looking forward to Notebook. Um, I think he's seven pounds better off of Factor Duderies over here um, because no four allowance. Um, obviously Honeysuckle, uh, she's yeah. really looking forward to that. I think the soft round is going to suit Benny, make it more of a stamina test. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's, that's the main race of the day. To me, that's, yeah. the, that's the feature race, the mayor's hurdle. And, yeah. and that's this race, this race coming of age, really. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I love watching Notebook. I love the way he jumps. He has to be so exciting to ride. Like, um, he, he's, he's a real contender today, and I think she's got a massive shout on him. But he's just, from a jockey's perspective, he has to be an ideal kind of ride. You know, he just jumps and yeah. travels. And, she said to me yesterday her, her only worry is pulling him up on the way to the start. Yeah, she got to run he, he, he got a run in Leopardstown. So. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think that'll be okay here because it's, a, it's very railed here and he'll, he'll be getting a lead from a lot of horses. Yeah. Um, I'd be more worried about Cashback. He's a horse and I'd be looking at in the preliminaries. He wears a hood, he can get very excited. Uh, Makes the running too. Yeah, the first two or three fences will be very important for him whether he, you know, whether he handles the whole thing. But. Um, and you were, you were riding the last as well, you're yeah, I mean, Fergal O'Brien. In, in the National Hunt Chase, uh, yeah. along with Patrick, uh, one for Fergal O'Brien. I got to sit on him yesterday morning, so uh, look, it's exciting to be here. It's great to have a ride. Uh, I intend to follow Patrick and just do him on the line, actually. Yeah, so. lovely. <laughs> yes. Um, what about Abacadabas in the Supreme? Will this ground suit him? Yeah, look, he's, he won on soft to heavy in, in uh, NAV, and um, he handles it. Um, He's, he's, he's track form in the champion bumper. Um, I think he always was in the shadow of Envoy Allen last year. Um, and I, I think he's got a massive shout. Um, he's, he seems to be a lot more relaxed this year in, in riding out. And he was very um, mature last year. He, he ran was, to a rail, yeah, everything. He was. Yeah, he, he was. Um, but I think he, he's grown up and I think uh, Hurls have made a man of him. Um, so he's exciting and we'll, we'll fingers crossed, he, he might uh, get a roll and, and get the festival running. Well, we're very keen on our horse that's steering for Lange. Um, you know, I think he's improved all through the season. Dermot Keeling, who rides him out, thinks he's improved again since his win in Leperstown. Soft ground is a little bit of an unknown because he won on dry ground in Leperstown and in Nice. Um, but we're really looking forward to that race. Cool. Well, it's all to play for lads today and we'll see what happens later on. Exciting.